My name is Lawrence Tate and I'm 54 years of age. In April of this year, um, having got the pressure sore in either January or February, but I was too ill to really understand at first when I was seen um, the seriousness of the wound and it was later that I uh, began to understand what had happened. About the same time uh, in April of this year I realised and that it would always be known as a grade 4 um, sacrum sore and that it, I would have to be very careful not to uh, make the situation any worse at any time and not sit or lie for hours on end on it. It's not really affected me greatly emotionally but it's uh, affected my progress in getting better uh, a great deal. I've not been able to do the level of physio that I could have been able to do without the sore and the physio team have had to leave out certain aspects of rehab because of it, namely um, the board transferring from chair to bed and everything and they said that it's too dangerous with a grade 4 sacrum sore to do it. Well at first uh, it was so serious and every, all the skin and everything was dead in there. For the first few months I had no pain but um, in the last three or four months I went through a, a phase that um, it was almost like somebody was throwing darts at my bottom um, and was extremely painful and I had to have regular paracetamols. I was offered uh, morphine-based drugs and I also take gabapentine twice a day uh, to make sure that I don't get excessive amounts of pain. And I've also got codeine prescribed in my notes if I want any. The diet has been extremely poor for somebody trying to recover. Um, the food is all microwaved, reheated um, and quite stodgy and there's no, no such thing as fresh vegetables. You get frozen vegetables that have been boiled or reheated for about a week and um, really it's extremely poor. Um, the nutrition is, uh, I would say, extremely poor. Um, the best thing is the protein in the scrambled eggs you can have for breakfast and that may have well helped heal the sore but um, the hospitals really do need to look at the menus that are on offer. Well the wound care specialist team have looked after me magnificently since February since I came back to Brighton from the London hospital where I got the sore um, and of course all the staff nurses have been involved as well. Um, when the wound care team haven't been here, uh, the staff nurses have changed the dressing and, where necessary, filled it with aquacells. It started off um, when I first saw the wound care specialist team having nine aquacells put in it, but at this stage we're down to one and just a little bit. So their um, healing process uh, has certainly helped me. My main frustration is the fact that I got it in the first place. Um, it should never have happened. Had I been turned in bed when I was in a coma uh, at a reasonable times and not just left, the sore would never have become a grade 4 sore. And um, one of the, the big frustrations is the fact that it's uh, elongated the time I've spent in hospital, which at this period is over eight months, and um, I've not been able to, to do the level of physio that I should have been doing. Well, it has been quite significant because it's a, it's a daily thing that I have to watch, um, because for the last four months it gives pain, and I have to be very careful that I don't... Um, make it any worse and it, and it continues to heal like it's doing um, and when they come to move me in the bed or slide me up the bed I have to say to them no we'll have to roll rather than scrape me up the bed 
so that the, the sore is, is not um, made any worse. Well, it does make me feel angry that um, a hospital um, in an HDU department allowed this to happen in the first place. It should never have happened in, a, in an environment where there are staff nurses and one-to-one -one care and one-to-two care. Um, it's, it's really bad that it happened in the first place. And uh, as I say, it does make me feel a little bit aggrieved. Well, the message I would like to give is turn your patients every couple of hours if they're not able to turn themselves. The situation I was in was I was in a coma. I couldn't speak. I couldn't tell them I'd been lying in the same position for hours on end. It's down to the hospital and the staff to see that you are turned and um, avoid these things happening because they are totally avoidable.